Hi everybody, I'm Anucha, and for a while I've been wanting to try to make these wrapped friendship bracelets. Yes, I'm an adult. Yes, I still have fun making friendship bracelets. So I picked up the loop de doo because I needed more things to buy from Michaels to get free shipping, and I'm going to show you how to use it. So this is not sponsored. There is an affiliate link in the caption, and I will also let you know where you can find a written tutorial. So as you can see, it has a drawer and it comes with some strings already. Um, the storage drawer allows you to store some bracelets, but it also allows you to store a bunch of flosses. And it's a little tough to open and close, but it's great. So we're gonna start with these four colors. Now there are loads and loads and loads of different styles you can do. And I'm going to show you two variations. It does come with an instruction booklet and that's all you really need. You're going to start by grouping together your colors and holding them together. So we're doing four, but you can do as many as you'd like. And we're just going to hold them together and then we're just going to tie them around one of the hooks. You're running all your threads between the two hooks between three to however many times you want. This will determine the thickness of the bracelet and do not disconnect it after you do this. So I'm starting with three. Now you always wanna end opposite your starting knot. Then you're going to continue running it without cutting it four to six times, but these are temporary runs. So we did four here. You need more if you're doing it longer. But then you're gonna just cut it over there and you're going to undo the second batch, ending on the opposite side of your starting knot. So now you're going to go, be, go through this process to first make an overhead knot around the loop. Now you're sliding your thing from the bottom through the loop that connects it to the hook and then back from front to back through the loop that you just formed. And you're going to pull tight, and this is gonna kind of like knot the string around that loop and create a starting point. So you do wanna make sure your loop is functionally big, the one that you left on that side over there. I'm just flipping this around so that you can, so I can work more comfortably while showing you. Now you're holding it in place, you're using your right hand or whatever hand you're working with to guide the thread along the bracelet as you turn with the other hand. So in my case, my left hand. Now you can do this as neatly or as messily as you want. Expect your first bracelet to be somewhat messy just because you're learning. And you could let some of the internal threads show through, but you don't have to. On this one, I did. To finish it off, you're going to knot the wrapping threads around the center threads with a simple knot. And you're going to do it twice to fully secure it in place. Now you're going to carefully cut your starting knot side off of the hook where it originated. Split your threads in half, making sure that you have some wrapping threads and some center threads on each side and simply knot the two sides together to seal off your wrapping. Now you're going to trim it and you are going to use the loop and these end threads to tie the bracelet on your wrist. If you do it exactly the right size, you're going to be able to just slide it on and off. And yes, there are size guides that are hard to see in this video on the actual loop-de-doo, uh, little gizmo gadget loom thingy. Now I'm going to show you to make a color block bracelet. You use this little notch to hold the bracelet, the wrapping threads that you're not currently wrapping. And then you just wrap one color at a time for the portion that you want it to be wrapped. When you're done, you're going to knot it just like you did at the end of a non-color blocked bracelet. And then you are simply going to attach the color that you just wrapped once again into the notch at the end and pull out your next color and continue wrapping. So that there are so many different ways you can make this and you're going to find all different tutorials in the instruction booklet. You can really even get creative with this, even though it is, you know, a more structured kind of craft. There are many different ways you can get creative, not just with color, but with thickness, with your order of wrapping, with your direction of wrapping. Make sure to check out my description for both a link to the loop de doo and also for a link to my blog post with a written out tutorial. Have fun crafting, like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see more of.